there are some people in the world, especially the secularists, they want religion to be removed completely from public life. They want a clear demarcation between politics and religion. And so they say religion should not make comments on public policies, on social life, and even on moral issues. They don't even allow sacred symbols to be used in public places. Religions are being marginalized and should be kept either at the church or the temple or just at home. There is a clear distinction between politics and religion. Politics is meant for the governance of the people. Politics is meant to help the people to live peacefully, to prosper together, to share the resources of this world so that everyone can be happy, so that everyone can be well looked after, so that there will be no poor, that everybody would be able to progress together, to share the fruits of their labour, there will be order, there will be justice. That is the work of politics for the common good. Religion is different from politics. The fundamental concern of religion is to help people to live a spiritual life, to be connected with God, to live a moral life, a life of justice, a life of mercy and compassion. So there is a clear distinction between politics and religion. However, in practice, religion and politics will always overlap. Because man is a social, political, moral, religious being, one at the same time. You cannot compartmentalize the human person. If you are a politician, if you're in a government, if you're in a corporate world, you will have to make decisions based on your values. But where do your values come from? If not from your upbringing, if not from your religion, it must come from somewhere. Everybody has to make a judgment call. Your judgment call implies all your experiences, all your knowledge, all your upbringing. So there is no such thing as when we are in politics or when we are in the corporate world, we make decisions without influence from our religious or moral upbringing. It will impact the way we decide on things. Don't be deceived by the world that everything is based on reason. If reason is the answer to unity in the world, have you ever asked yourself, how come different countries have different laws on the same matter? Precisely, if it is reason that every country, every society should have a law that is implemented throughout the whole world. In fact, the world does not believe in objective truth. It is relativism. In relativism, what reason is that? It is based on subjectivity. So it's not true that decisions are made simply on pure objective truth and reason. If that is the case, every country, every government will agree. There will be no fighting among all the worlds, among all the different nations. There will be no disagreement. Governments and religions overlaps. At the end of the day, government also consults religions. They want religions to support their policies, which are meant for the common good. So long as religion does not create disharmony, the government will permit. But of course, if religion interferes with the harmony of the country, cause religious tension, government will step in. They will impose rules. 
In the same way too, religion does not interfere with the government. But if the social life of people, the freedom, if there are injustices, if there are corruption, then religion will have to stand for the common good. Religion cannot keep silent. So you cannot really separate one from the other. Although there is a clear distinction in terms of governance. Although religion and politics, they do not mix, they are distinct, but they actually complement one another. Because politics and religion at the end of the day, who are we serving? The common good. <laughs> what is good for humanity? What is good for society? If a government is promoting injustices, impartiality, if there is no real justice, the people cannot be happy. There will be civil disobedience. An honest government, a government with integrity, have no fear of religion because religion should not be involved in the governance of the country. But if the government is corrupt and they are being exposed then, of course, they find religion a threat. On the other hand, actually, politics helps religion because religion needs also the help of the government in order to help the people to grow in generosity, to grow in integrity. So religion actually builds the moral life of the people, help them to work for the common good of the country. And this happens, unfortunately, again. Politics make use of religion, and religion make use of politics for power. This is where we must be extremely careful. Politics cannot bring total happiness to the world. You look at all the affluent countries, even the richest countries are not happy people. They are also fighting. Everywhere! No matter how rich the country is, how affluent, there will be demonstration, there will be fighting, there will be civil disorder, there will be riots. Because people are selfish. People only think of themselves. What does religion do? Religion provides the peace that people are looking for. And most of all, to realize that our life is not just on this earth. There is a life that is yet to come. Our home is in heaven. And because there is God, then we must live a principled life. So actually, religion and politics, together, when used for the common good, it brings true progress to humanity in the fullest sense of the term.